What is up fam? Today we're doing a video I wouldn't typically do, but I feel like it'll be extremely helpful for the fellow small YouTubers out there. This is a very common camera to own, this one in the M50, the Canon M50. So today I'm going to be showing y'all my Canon M200 after a year of owning it and in 2022 which i believe it came out in 2019 or 2020 i would have to double check but i am gonna give you all my full rundown on it so let's get started so i actually got the content creator kit for christmas last year it came with like a tripod charger batteries sd card like all the fun stuff but i'm just purely reviewing the camera today so this is the box it came in um it literally just shows the body and the lens uh, it has no important information, so it's Wi-Fi certified, Bluetooth certified, it has an HDMI port, and it's made by Pictbridge, whatever that is. And then it has the contents, so it says digital camera, EOS M200, zoom lens, EFM 15 to 45 millimeter, f3.5 through 6.3, which these are like the specs, I guess, or what it, I don't know. And then it has the strap, the battery charger, and the battery pack. So, the first thing I really enjoy about this camera is the battery lasts, like, a long time. Like, it doesn't use a ton of battery, unless you're shooting in 4K. I shoot in 1080 because you can't view 4K on YouTube yet, on your, like, cellular devices or anything. So, I shoot in 1080, but I'm going to show you all the body. So, this is the body. It's super small. Super compact, which I like. It has a mini USB port, a mini HDMI port. The SD card slot is right here on the side. It has the flip up screen. It has a dial on the top for auto, photo, or video. And then this is the button you use to take pictures. And then you have a little rolly thing that you can set to use whatever you want it to. And then I keep the strap on mine because I like to hang it on my shoulder like this, like a purse. And so I just keep the strap on it because it's convenient. And then you pop this little guy off. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> you pop that off and that is our sensor. That is what actually receives the images. And so I wouldn't keep that uncovered for a long period of time. But let me show you all the lens and then I'll put them on. This is the itty bitty little lens. See, I'm a DSLR girl, so I'm used to like the big bulky stuff. Um, I've used this to vlog to make almost all my videos. Right now, I'm shooting on a Canon 7... 70D, not a 7D. <laughs> I'm shooting on a 70D, and I'm using the mic I would usually use with this, but I'll show you all my setup right here. This is what I use, and so it is super efficient, and it's pretty small um, for the most part. I've seen YouTubers use like a whole gorilla pod and a whole DSLR, and I think that's way too much. But this is absolutely perfect for me. And so you pop this little this little guy off, and there's the inside of your lens. And then we're gonna pop the other side off. And then it just clicks right on. And it's still pretty small, pretty compact. And then fun fact for very beginner camera users, these caps go together so you don't lose one or the other you always have both and then to make the lens actually work you have to slide this to the front and then make the little white dots line up so it makes the lens a little bit longer but that's how a focal range lens works so and then we have the flip up screen this is how it looks this is how big it is with the bare minimum I like to have a little rig on it so I have a lens hood, so let's put that on. I grabbed this lens hood on Amazon for maybe like $7, which is pretty cheap. Um, Canon ones are usually like 40 bucks. And you just boop and snap it on. It makes it a little bit longer, a little bit larger looking. It does look a little more professional though, like that looks a little more profesh. But then I also use my small rig. Um, this is actually an off-brand small rig. It's called a UU rig. I'm not sure where they got their name. I have no idea. But it was on Amazon for like 30 bucks, and it was actually on sale for Black Friday and Cyber Monday for $27, which I thought that was pretty, pretty darn sweet. But I'm gonna put it on, and then I'll show y'all. Okay, so here it is on. I would usually have my mic right here. I'll show a little clip of that, but 
it's pretty compact and you don't have to use a tripod but you can if you'd like and so it has like the three little holes it has a bunch of little things you can put on here and so the mic goes at the top and then there's three tripod mount holes um and then it has this magnetic screwdriver thing oh and it just stays right there and that's how you take it on and off there is a huge misconception that you cannot use a, an external mic with a Canon M200. But I found this adapter cord on Amazon. It's a mini USB to a female little end. So the mic plugs in here and then this plugs into the camera and then my mic would be up here. And so it works perfectly fine. I love it. I'm using my mic right now so that's why I can't show y'all and that's why I keep showing y'all the same clip over and over but that is my rig now if you are a ex dslr user and you're moving to mirrorless something i like to do to look first of all a little more professional and second of all to actually get a good use out of my lenses is to use a viltrox efm to efs mount adapter and so basically it looks like this i believe this one was like 50 50 bucks 30 bucks on Amazon the Canon one is a little more pricey but this one is just as good as the Canon one I watched lots of reviews I read a lot of stuff before I actually bought it but I do not regret this one bit and so I for church photography I use this rig and then I snap this on here and you do it just like a lens and then you put your lens so this part body of the camera this end the lens and so that's what I use for church photography with my 55 to 250 millimeter lens, and it is really awesome. So this is good if you're like travel photography, if you want to vlog, if you just want like a small camera because you have a family and you're a mom and you want to take good quality pictures of your kids. Um, it's really great. You can shoot in manual, you can shoot in program automatic. You can shoot an aperture priority. It has all of the main things in this small, compact, tiny body. Um, I'll show you all a couple of photos I've taken on this. I actually have had whole photo shoots on this camera. This is what I started my photography business off of as well as my YouTube. And so it's great for vloggers though, because look, you just flip up that screen, see yourself perfectly. It's really nice and it has very good quality. You can shoot, oh, hello there. Oh, <laughs> accidentally turned it on. You can shoot um, 720 to 4K. So you can shoot 720, 1080, 4K. And so that is absolutely amazing and it's a great feature to have in such a small body. And people are like, oh, well it looks so unprofessional to have a little tiny body. Girl now. They will underestimate you and then be amazed by your work. Slap that lens hood on there, makes it look a little bigger. Go for it. But I'm going to show y'all the quality of the actual video. Since it's mirrorless, it has a super fast speed. Here it is in the same like distance and stuff as my actual camera, but I'm holding it with my hand. But it's super good. It has really good quality. It has eye tracking autofocus as well. So, I've actually dropped this camera three times on cement. One in H-E-B, one at my house, and one at my church. And it is, it made the autofocus a little bit, little bit rougher, but it's still doing absolutely amazing, and I still wouldn't trade it for the world. It's pretty inexpensive when you come to a sale or something, like the content creator kit is, I believe, $4.99 right now. And it's normally $6.99. Now, if you want to pay an extra few fees for, like, the little viewfinder on the M50 or that kind of stuff, I do not own the M50 because I am a broke student. But if you want to pay a few extra dollars for those little perks, it's only, like, 100 more. And that sounds like a lot, but when it comes to camera life, photography life, filmmaking, it's actually not. And it has a flip-out side screen instead of top. So when you put your mic on the top of the M50, um... It's not interfering with the flip up screen and neither is this one that's why I liked this because it goes on the side and so I can still flip up my screen but I would definitely recommend this for like smaller youtubers or just any youtuber honestly um, anyone who doing reels or like content creating you can with this small rig you can do like this on the tripod and so it films in that format it's really awesome I have found myself using it for literally 
everything. I want to go ahead and show it to y'all with the lens adapter. So with the lens adapter, all you do, you, you pop off this lens. So you push this little button on the side and just twist. And make sure to put your little cover on your lens. This little cover. So it doesn't get dust and dirt and stuff in there. And then you take your Viltrox or your adapter and you just screw that off and there's no extra glass or anything it's completely hollow and so it doesn't create literally it does nothing except adapt your lens but you just put it on there like you would a real lens you hear that little click and then you take off this see you can still see inside no glass nothing and then you get your other lens twist off the cap and twist it right on there like you would onto the actual body itself and this <laughs> looks ridiculous but this is what i use for my church photography because it has the fastest shutter speed ever and i love shooting in manual on this because you can do auto iso but then change your shutter speed and stuff and it's so nice but i will show y'all a few pictures i've taken with this exact setup um it's super Super good. You can't really see it. Oh, it has manual focus on. Whoops. But, yeah. And it zooms 250 millimeters. This lens is totally worth it. it it's really good. The camera's really good in uh, low light. And it goes up to 256. No, no, no. 25,600. Wait, 25,600 on ISO, so that is really amazing. But I would recommend this camera to absolutely anyone who is not like a professional wedding photographer or anything, because you need a little bit more better gear to do that kind of stuff. But this lens right here is a beast. Not the lens, the camera is a beast. And so I highly recommend. So in my one year of owning this camera, I love it. I take it everywhere, like no joke. My bestie Abby can vouch. My friend B can vouch, Taryn, all my people at church can vouch. I take it everywhere and I like it because it can be super small and compact or you can put your biggest lens you own on there. So it is super duper awesome. That is all for this video. This is my little small rig, but I will try to link everything on Amazon down below. Um, if I can't find the exact item, I'll go ahead and link something super similar. Similar. <laughs> I'll go ahead and link something super similar. But thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. And make sure to like and subscribe. And always remember who you are and whose you are, baby. Because you are a child of God. Anyways, peace out, besties.